In this video, I want to show you something really interesting and you can see an immediate impact on your marketing email campaigns. Specifically, we're going to talk about how to clean up your email list without Scraper, this powerful all-in-one scraping tool. First and foremost, before getting to the good stuff, I do want to mention a disclaimer that you don't want to use the scripting data to spam people or businesses and make sure you do have a legitimate interest and you don't breach GDPR and other regulations. Each country has their particular law and regulation. Make sure you consult with a lawyer or do some research on your local area. Now let's quickly talk about why do we clean up the email list at the first place. First of all, you can increase your email deliverability because from email service provider perspective, when you send out a marketing campaign, if you have a 20, 30, 50% email bounce back, it's probably an indication that it's a poor email list. You probably bought it somewhere and you're spamming and scamming people. So make sure you clean up your email. As a result, we can improve our email marketing ROI. Last but not least, by cleaning the email list, we can maintain the data quality. So make sure the quality is always better than the quantity. I'd rather have 100 quality email list versus 1,000 poor email list that only 50% of the chance the email can be delivered to them. So what all Scraper does is number one is checking the email format. Make sure the email format is valid. So basically it's checking the at symbol on the email and also checking the local part and domain to make sure everything is in a good format. And from there it's also checking the MX record also known as mail exchange records to make sure MX record is set up properly. And it's also checking the spam data Database as well as blacklist database. And last but not least, it's paying the email for deliverability. This is one of the most important components for a successful email marketing campaign. And we want to make sure whatever email we send out will land on recipient's inbox versus spam folder or junk mail. So there's a couple methods you can use to validate email addresses. The first one is basically a manual way. You want to do this one by one. So in my previous video, I have scripted around 100 local restaurants of Los Angeles. So in here, you can see I have a list of 100 emails with their business names. So now let's quickly grab one of these email address and we want to come to email validator. The link is in the description below. This is a completely free tool offered by our scraper and now just simply input the email here, click on validate email. Within a few seconds, it populated all the records. First of all, the status is receiving and the validate format is a yes, meaning this email is a validated format. And is this listed in the blacklist or spam list? No, and it's a valid DNS record and SMTP is valid as well. So now let's randomly grab one of these emails that's not Gmail. And now let's paste it into this box, click on validate email one more time. This email has been validated so the status is receiving validated format blacklist no valid dns record and smtp is a yes as well this is a really good tool to check email one by one now what if i want to batch validate or bulk validate my email addresses from a list what do i do and that's where the email address verifier feature comes in handy so first of all you need to have our scraper account again if you don't have it the link is in the description below once you log into your dashboard on the back Again, you want to navigate on the menu of email related and you want to find email addresses verifier. You can copy paste this entire list of email addresses and you want to paste it into this box. You can go ahead and get the data. As you can see here, we have a one option that's checking for disposable email checker and for 1000 and below emails, it's completely free. So click on that once. So I want to include this feature when everything is ready. Click on get data. And now here is a task confirmation. Information. Basically, it's going to give you a rough estimate before you proceed and confirm. And first of all, we have a 95 plus query in total of 100 email. That's exactly how many emails I have in this list. And then from there, the cost of this entire validation process is about 30 cents in total. Once you're happy with what you see here and you want to click on confirm, we're going to send this task into the query list. Now navigate to the task page section. You can see the current status is in progress. The task is up running. 
morning. Now just patiently wait for it, give it a few more minutes, and we're gonna come back just in a moment. A few minutes later. And you can see the status is completed. This literally took less than a minute or two. And now all you need to do is click on results and you wanna download the CSV file. Now let's fire up the Google Sheets, click on file, click on import, come to upload section and you wanna drag and drop into this box. And I'm going to replace the current sheet, click on import data. And here's the final results of the entire validation process. You can see the queries, all the emails, and you can see the status field. Some of them are unknown, some of them are receiving, and some of them are invalid. So the invalid are the ones you definitely want to clean up. From there, the valid format, majority of them or 100% of them are true. And a blacklisted, all of them are basically false. And from there, we'll have a DNS record, SMTP record. And the last three columns are basically checking for disposable email. So you can see query disposable. Let's find a true here. So right here on the roll number 41, this seems to be a disposable email. So we don't want to include these one in our email list. And now let me show you a quick trick on how to clean this up. So you want to select the entire sheet, you want to click on data, and you want to click on create a new filter. And from there, what I do want to mention is a status wise on the column B, I want to exclude all the invalid ones. I only want to keep all the receiving and unknown. Click on OK. So right off the bat, you can see the bottom right corner, the count is 84 minus the header. So there are 83, 17 emails in total has an invalid status. So those are the emails we want to remove. We don't want to include in our email list. From there, the validated format, let's check for the status. Every single one of them is true, so we can ignore that. And blacklist, every single one of them is a false. That's really good. From there, DNS record is all true. That's great. From there, the remaining 82 emails, we don't have anything that's a yes on the disposable query list. Now let's quickly summarize. We used our scrapers bulk email validation service. And from there, we excluded all the email status, which is invalid. These are the ones we don't want to include. As a result, we excluded around 17 emails in total. 17 emails out of 100 emails. That is a 17%. If I send out an email marketing campaign to this entire list, 17% will be invalid. It could be a potential risk of email service provider flagging our account, thinking that we're basically spamming people because 17% of the emails had a hard bounce because their status is invalid. From here, what I can do is because this list is already being cleaned up, I can basically remove column B all the way to column I. I can delete them. I can file and download as a SCV file and upload it to my email marketing platform. I strongly recommend everyone to clean up your email list once a while or even schedule this every once a month because by cleaning up your email, you get to have a higher deliverability. As a result, you have a higher quality list and data. And most importantly, you get to have a better ROI in terms of email marketing campaigns. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop some likes and some comments. It really helped the algorithm to push this video out to more and more people. People. And let me know which part of the video you enjoy the most. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.